What's up, you Molen Army and Moneymakers? Welcome back to the channel. Molen is at $1.24, as you can see on my screen, 2.35% down. We are Monday, May 15th, 10.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we have been looking into this, one of the hype that we have seen on Twitter, because we heard, and again, don't quote me on this, but Lawrence Mansion over the weekend, happy Mother's Day all to all of the mothers, despite of some of the made-up rumors, I'm doing well. And what he's talking about here is because there was uh, there was a lot of news around whether um, he was uh, arrested or something along those lines. I saw it on Reddit. I saw that on Twitter. Many people also posted on YouTube. So that's how I know. But he mentioned that things are well. All is well. He is doing well. I had to take some break and get some rest. Now, he also mentioned that a positive update will be provided tomorrow, Monday morning, making America better forever ever humble and blessed now this kind of post this post made it a lots of rounds especially on reddit take a look at r slash molen and people have been talking a ton about it and we saw a ton of comment and uh, basically people were hoping that what with or at least they were curious what that will be here i am sharing this information with you the br the press release is already um, up whether people were waiting for that or people were also speculating whether that will be around the Saudi deal. I am going to share that information with you because the PR is out. So do hit the like button. We need 200 likes on this video. We want to subscribe to this channel as well. Help support. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on very juicy, very time sensitive and urgent information. Without further delay, let's just jump into it. Molen Advanced Energy Operations provided May 15th update on EMM testing and installation with DC CT government. They're talking about Washington, DC. And he was, Lawrence was in Washington, D.C. last week. And this is essentially a pretty big update for him. Think about it. $688,000 worth of contract. If you give or take, just divide that by two for Lawrence's part, their LLC. It's about $340,000 and change in general uh, for the, the, the revenue for the company. And that also helps Molen. But all in all, this is a pretty decent update. There is nothing around the Saudi deal. So don't get uh, into a lot of hype or sort of the FUD or, or anything along those lines because we were expecting that the Saudi deal won't be released because until it gets a little bit of a um, formation within that, it gets firm and until Molen decides to share it. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, nor I'm a certified professional, so do your own due diligence. The crux of the matter is if you believe in what Lawrence told us before a couple of weeks in live Facebook live stream, with the Saudi deal and $10 billion reference, so on and so forth. If you believe in that, you can take the risk. It's risk versus reward. You can double, triple, quadruple your money. If the deals work out, if the deal forms, yes, that's a great, great outcome for Molen because Molen has the market cap of $190 million at $1.24. We know that Molen needs a lot more money. Molen has $116 million to get up and running for the company as they announced in the last uh, PR that they have. Now, before I go ahead, I just quickly look into what this PR talks about because this could be a pretty good domino effect and more and more authorities, they are talking about 40 vehicles, I believe in this particular um, PR right here, testing and installation plan for completion on a total of 40 vehicles over the next few weeks. That's great. And Molen provided this update with on EMM installation project with the DCCT government. That's great as well. Now, more and more government agencies, more and more CD projects can be done by Molen and that can add, that's a half a million dollar in revenue per project. That's a pretty good revenue for Molen and the LLC or the tie-up that they already have with EMM, uh, with Advanced Energy Operation, right? M-A-E-O, Molen Advanced Energy Operation, as you can see right here. This update or this PR was announced on May 15, just before an hour, 8.30, and we started looking into it. And this looks pretty promising, but this is nowhere near to what people were hyped, hyping about or expecting about, or we, I saw some YouTube reference references, um, Twitter references. So this is not around around that. I'm not trying to um, critic any of the side. But yes, I can understand why people were saying because again, it was uh, announced or it was shared by, by Lawrence. Now, 
you want to understand what this means the six hundred and eighty thousand dollars contract was previously awarded to district of columbia washington dc to ev technologies llc for the purchase and installation of emm units on chevrolet bolts within the dc city government's vehicle fleet so at the end of the day this is a dc city government vehicle fleet and think about it how many vehicles the government has across the united states can mall get it can this particular EV Technologies LLC get it? If they do, that's going to be amazing. More than advanced energy operations. Again, MAEO is supporting the EV Technologies for the execution of the contract. Why this is super important as well? If you think about the government in general, the Biden government, they're focusing a ton more on clean energy. We are moving into the EV market, EV segment. You see that every single day that there is clean energy projects. They're getting ramped up super, super fast. People are worrying about the plastic and the overall carbon emission that we have been talking about as well so with all in all ev is definitely the future of what you can think about and molen can play a pretty important role if they start getting more and more contracts from government agencies which particular for this instance started on april 24 2023 maeo which is 51% owned by subs owned subsidiary by Molen Automotive. That is a collaboration with GV Global EV Technology Inc. Global. They have named Lawrence, as we have been talking about, the senior VP of the technology. Lawrence will be overseeing all technological aspects of the energy management model or EMM. Now, we look forward to completing our installation work in DC next steps as the vehicle enter into the fleet for EMM and also future opportunities with the local and federal government agencies. This is what you need to focus on. They can replicate this uh, model and the process and this uh, installation with more and more cities, more and more government agencies. That's what they are looking for. That's what said Lauren, CEO of EV Technologies. As testing and installation continues in DC, we'll provide the further updates. That's what David, the CEO and chairman of Molen Automotive said. Now, one thing you want to understand with all in all, why Molen is going down, we already know because of the short sellers. I told you we went to $1, $1.27 and we went $1.23. We need to stay above $1 price point, which is what everyone wants to uh, wants to talk about now right now as you know Mullen's cost to borrow is going higher highs that also means the price is going lower lows we saw all-time low last week one dollar and 21 cents if you did not if you missed my previous video take a look right here one dollar and 21 cent was the low on may 12th which was friday if you think about what is today let's take a look let me just go ahead and refresh because i did not really see this data yet take a look one dollar and 22 cents we really want to make sure that we close about one dollar and 27 cents take a look right here one dollar 27 cents 140 it's even better if we go in 40 zone i don't believe because this news and this pr and this update is underwhelming there is no news addition all in all there is not enough exciting announcement in the PR that people were looking for and I'm not trying to critic anything but take a look at the volume volume is 4.5 million what I suspect here is there could be majority of the volume which is a short sell and right now if you think about this particular um, um, news that the bore cost to borrow is reaching new highs what that means is Ortex reported that Molen's live cost to borrow that was up on Friday last week 389% with the max cost to borrow as high as 454% on Thursday. The cost to borrow annualized percentage of the interest of loan typically borrowed by the hedge funds or the brokers as well. So they are believing more and more that they can short more and more Molen and that way they can make more and more money. So the con conviction and the confidence is pretty high in shorting Molen. This per percentage figure may change on a daily basis. We already know that. Now think about hedge funds shorts on Molen are paying this massive interest rate just to be able to continue shorting it. What is this going to do? It'll reduce the real-time price point for Molen. In the meantime, it, it is costing retail investors who are buying Molen for long. Think about it, $1.21. If you think about the pre-reverse stock split, so you divide by 25, that becomes about 5 cents or below 5 cents. That's why it is costing the retail investors nothing other than 
unrealized losses to buy and hold the stock. When the stock's cost to borrow is high, it usually suggests a high conviction from the short sellers. And this is what's hurting Mullen. Now, if you think about all in all, what is going on with Mullen and what you can think all in all is we want to stay about $1 price point because of the extension that they have received. They received 180 day extension for to meet the minimum bid price rule requirement on a NASDAQ. And again, they want to make sure before prior to September 5th, 2023, if Bolin fails to trade about $1 minimum price bid rule requirement for 10 consecutive business days before September 5th, 2023, the company will implement another reverse stock. So they already did. They are playing extremely safe. They have time till September. They played this in May. And we see that we are just a couple of days away from getting this 10 consecutive business days um uh, compliance because right now they're they are having deficiency to trade about one dollar think about it one two three four five six seven and eight today is the eighth consecutive day that molen stayed and closed about one dollar one dollar 47 cents so you don't consider the reverse stock split prior to that because this is just an effect the way that they calculate so that it's a calculating algorithm but we traded about one dollar starting may 4th and we stayed above one dollar yes we did go below one dollar and 22 cents here one dollar and 21 cents but if we close about one dollar that is going to be a win-win situation if you are hoping that molen stays about one dollar write down one dollar in the comment section below or write down nasdaq in the comment section below i'll do my due diligence i'll share this information with you but we are again we are trying to find out that redditors there's a lot of fud into the market redditors are questioning mgt lee's deal Molen mentioned that MGT is a $70 million revenue company, which, by the way, that is uh, questionable based on some of the Reddit posts that I've looked into. But we, I don't know really the, uh, what, the, what the outcome is, uh, whether it's legit or not. I'm just uh, sharing the information, the research, the analysis that I can find in, in the digital domain. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.